From Azeroth to Sephiroth, nerds are passionate about a lot of things, but there's one thing they love above all else, and that is correcting people. This is Um Actually. Joining us today, we have returning champion Ify Wadiwe. One win, baby! Yeah! <laughs> uh, we've got DC Pearson. How's it going? Woo! Woo! Uh, I've never been on the show before. At this excited. moment, I exist in a quantum state of both being the best ever and the worst possible. Ooh, a <laughs> quantum state? That sounds sci-fi. <laughs> I'm just trying to present as a nerd yeah. when in actuality my dad invented football. <laughs> That's not true. And uh, next thing we have Emily Axford. Hey, Emily. Hey. Hey. How are you? No one asked you how uh, you were yeah, feeling. You know, no one. That's the real, I'm just delaying it till we play because I'm nervous I'm going to fail. <laughs> uh, that's a good strategy. If, if, if I never ask any questions, you can't get any questions wrong. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, well, I'm afraid we'll have to move on. Um, <laughs> so we'll move on right to the questions. Or rather, uh, a brief explanation of the game. Uh, if you haven't played before, this is Um Actually. I have here uh, a stack of false statements about the franchises that are nearest and dearest to your hearts. Uh, it's up to you to find the thing that's wrong with what I've stated, buzz in and correct me. There's only two rules. Your corrections must be preceded by the phrase, Um Actually, and you can interrupt me whenever you want. You don't have to wait for me to finish. So that's it. Are you guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Question one concerns Super Mario Brothers. Bowser, Mario's first and greatest enemy, also known as King Koopa, has attempted to kidnap- Um, actually, Mario's first enemy was Donkey Kong throwing them barrels. That's correct. Uh <laughs> Like, were Mario and Luigi ever enemies? <laughs> yeah, I'd argue that Mario's first enemy was probably Luigi because think about how much siblings fight when they're young. Yeah, that's true. But Mario desperately like disappointed when like when Mama Mario first brings home Luigi from the hospital. It's like, I've got a surprise for you. I've got a surprise for you, Mario. It's your brother, Luigi. It's like, oh, fuck this. Yeah, and especially if your mom's name is Mama Mario. And yeah. she's like, we're gonna name you Mario. Yeah. And then you were gonna name your brother Luigi. Yeah. Well, they're naming him after Dad Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Mario and Dad Luigi. Their taxes are a nightmare. Over the IRS, they're just like, I can't get a handle on this family. <laughs> this question is about Game of Thrones. The Tears of Lys, a deadly poison hailing from the same free city as Varys, has been used throughout the show to kill characters both on screen, such as Marcella Lannister, and off screens, does John Aaron of the Vale, Hand of King Robert, Iffy. Um, actually, Marcella wasn't poisoned. It was uh, the, the Joffrey kid who was poisoned. Marcella was poisoned. Yeah, oh, they poisoning everybody they in that show. Everybody. Everybody. He's getting poisoned. It's a poisoning kind of town. I mean, that's, that's, that's it wears out its well. How many people yeah. were poisoned on the wire? Just those drive-by poisonings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Omar coming, and he wants you. He's, got a, he's got a spray bottle. <laughs> he's doing a, just a slow mercury poison. Yeah. Everyone. everyone dies real slow. Man from... got to have a code and some mercury. <laughs> um, DC. Um, actually, no one has ever been poisoned on the show because they're all already dead. Oh, I love it. Um, that sounds like a, an interesting fan theory, but mm -hmm. uh, they have, in fact, been poisoned. The poison used to kill Marcel Lannister was the long farewell, the poison that is administered with a kiss. See, I got that wrong because I read the books, and I didn't get to that book yet. Oh. It's one of those things you got Which wrong book? from reading too much. I'm already in the future. They, they stop using poison in the future. They all, <laughs> they're using spells now. There's a guy named Dumbledore in the show, too. Whoa, <laughs> someone slipped a different book in that jacket. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Feast for crows, oh, oh, the winds of winter. The prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> yeah, that's right in there, right, right in there. Uh, question three is about Blade Runner. Ridley Scott's 1982 film Blade Runner, an adaptation of the Philip K. Dick novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, tells the story of Detective Rick Deckard's hunt for a group of fugitive replicants. While many elements and themes were added to the movie, such as Gaff's origami figures, others were lifted directly from the book, such as several of the Boyd Comp questions and Roy Batty's iconic line, all these moments will be lost in time, like tears, in the rain. DC. Um, actually, that line isn't in the books. That was a thing from the A version of the script that uh, Rutger Hauer, like, it's said often that he improvised it, but he actually really like condensed it and possibly added the tear gone like tears and rain part. That is more correct than what I even have on the card. 
<laughs> so we'll give you the point. When you get a low Blade Runner one across the plate, <laughs> you gotta go for it. I have to be honest, I was just gonna guess that the author was Isaac Asimov instead of <laughs> Ken Dick. It's all right, Emily, because this next question is about Dragon Ball Z. Okay, I, but I'm telling you, even if I like something, I'm not so good at That's it. That's all right. Also, Ify is like raising his hand, like, I'm coming in. <laughs> I know, because he got my... two Dragon Ball Z podcasts. Oh, no! <laughs> I had a lot of Dragon Ball Z t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I ones? was the rare Dragon Ball Z fan that was in it for the shirts. <laughs> but then I would watch the show and I would be like, it's pretty cool. I can't wait till they fight in seven weeks. I'm in it for Piccolo. <laughs> I'm, attra- sure, yeah. I'm attracted to it's him. It's funny right? how I feel like you could say like Dragon Ball Z shirt and there's so many people just like, I know exactly what shirt you're talking about. It's just like <laughs> yeah. the, that weird time where it's like, you know what are two cool things? Dragon Ball Z and bowling shirts. Oh, yeah. right. it's just like, <laughs> it blew up so much. My friend, he would get the bootleg ones where it's not like Dragon Ball Z would just be a dragon. Dragon Orb X. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dragon Dad. Q. <laughs> it was in the back part of Marshall's. I just wear it. Okay, here we go. Saiyans, a race of alien warriors to whom both Goku and Vegeta belong, are capable of transforming into blonde versions of themselves known as Super Saiyans, but only if they still have their tails, which contain the glands necessary um, actually, for- actually, they don't need their tails. They need their tails to turn into uh, the giant gorillas, but it could chop off the tail and they could still go Super Saiyan. That is correct. You don't need the tail to become Super Saiyan. You need the tail to transform transform into your great ape form. Yeah. Um, um, actually, Piccolo is a great, um, is a great father figure to Gohan, and it makes me cry. I was like, even if I know the next one, I gotta give it to Emily, but like, I wouldn't have got that one. You cannot <laughs> let that stand. Branding, I can't let the Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> You're like, I have to snatch it every time. If you could have the next one, yeah. Emily, but the Dragon Ball Z one, for branding's sake, I have to snatch it every time. I also think though, it's like in basketball, like if you pass the ball to someone who doesn't know how to play basketball, it's just gonna hit him in the face. <laughs> anyway. So I think that's what we can look forward to if you leave one for me. And that's it for this episode of Um Actually. Um, actually, it's not. There's way more of this episode over on Dropout. Go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. I'll be right here. Well, I'll, I'll be over there. I mean, I'll be in both places at once, um, uh, because this is just, it, th- there's more. <sighs> Technology. You're gonna see on the screen a collection of uh, technology from a specific property. I want you to identify the one that does not belong. 